What's up, everybody? So today I want to talk a little bit about my Lego classic TV series Batmobile uh, set that I picked up the other day. I finally got a chance to build this, and I am just like so stoked about it. It's really small. I actually, in comparison to my hand, I had no idea that it was going to be this small, but I kind of like that. It actually has the perfect spot on my little display cube area. Uh, it just fits perfectly with my other Batman toys. Had it been any larger, I probably couldn't get that uh, on there very comfortably, but what a cool um, Lego set. I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably about a 6 out of 10 as far as difficulty in building goes. It was like 345 pieces, I believe, and uh, yeah, you definitely can feel it a little bit. Uh, some of the instructions are a little confusing. I do think, though, that you can use an app on your phone, and it actually takes you through step-by-step, step, and uh, maybe somebody can clarify that for me if you're familiar with building Legos yourself, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. Uh, regardless, this thing is just really slick, you guys. It has a few moving parts and pieces. Uh, the wings on the back here, you can put them up or down as it goes into like speed mode or whatever. Um, I actually haven't watched a ton of the classic se uh, TV series, but I really like it and enjoy it uh, very much so far. What I have seen, these little guys shoot off. I'm gonna risk the eye damage here. Yep, to show you that. Okay, I don't recommend shooting those if you have gray carpet. It took me a little bit to find it, but super cool. Anyway, the minifigures that come with it are a pink Joker, as he is in the uh, classic TV series, and also the blue Batman, Adam West-style Batman. Uh, he comes with a fabric cape. That's super important to me. I've always been a bigger fan of the fabric capes than anything. I love the details on the sides uh, of the Batmobile itself. I love the tires with the little Bat logo on there. Just a really slick, cool-looking little mini, um, kind of a figural or, you know, at least display type piece. So I would rate this a 10 out of 10 as far as any Lego set goes that I have owned. I just like really like that they made this uh, so much more of a collector piece. You know, I love the little details on the placard here. Uh, if I had to make any complaint, I do wish that these pieces came printed already with these logos on it. I went ahead and had to do some stickering and uh, unfortunately, I'm not like super, super good at being patient with stuff like that. So there are some minor defects to my placement, but you know, all in all, I'm really pleased and happy. I think it looks so cool. It's gonna look really great in the thumbnail, I already can tell. Yeah, just like anybody doing Lego toy photography is gonna come up with something really, really cool with this. And um, yeah, I'm just really pleased, so. Definitely go out and grab this. The price point is 30 bucks. Uh, I saw dozens and dozens of them at my Walmart. I don't know if they plan to release them for Batman Day or if they were already on the shelves prior to Batman Day, but they just really got a lot of stock, at least at my Walmart. So hopefully yours does as well. Go ahead and check those out, you guys. I think you'll be very pleased.